Today is September 25th, on which we commemorate Sergius, abbot of Holy Trinity Moscow. One of the most venerated Russian saints, Sergius was born near Rostov sometime around 1315, and as a young child moved with his family to the village of Radonezh near Moscow. His family was forced to move by the constant civil unrest that reigned over Russia in the 14th century. At the time, the Russians were divided with no central leadership and often found themselves under foreign domination. Sergius would play an important, if unassuming, role in the unification of the Russian people. Like so many great leaders of the church, Sergius really just wanted to live in seclusion. At the age of 20, he took up the prayerful and ascetic life of a hermit. He soon found, however, that his temperament and wisdom drew many to his hermitage, and before long a monastery and a village had grown up around him. During his lifetime, his disciples would fan out across Russia, founding 40 monasteries over which Sergius would serve as superior. This would turn Sergius into one of the most influential men in Russia, and he would use his influence to inspire countless Russians to seek greater faithfulness to the church. While he united Russians spiritually, Sergius also played a role in uniting them politically. When Dmitry Donskoy, the Prince of Moscow, went to war to free Russia from the Tartars, Sergius came out to bless him before the decisive battle. The military victory combined with the blessing of so beloved a figure as Sergius helped the Russian people to be united under the leadership of the Prince of Moscow. After his death on this day in 1392, Sergius would become regarded as a patron of his people and given the affectionate title, Abbot of Russia. Let us pray. O God, whose blessed Son became poor that we through his poverty might be rich, deliver us from an inordinate love of this world, that we, inspired by the devotion of your servant Sergius of Moscow, may serve you with singleness of heart and attain to the riches of the age to come, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.